I'm in my late 40s and this is a type of procedure that I've been thinking about doing for years, ever since I was a kid. You know, like people would always remark about my chubby cheeks and I remember when I was, who knows, maybe four or five years old, some lady in the parking lot told my mom that she thought I had something in my cheeks because my face was so fat. So <laughs> I've noticed over the last say 10, 15 years, my face has slimmed down a bit as I've gotten older, but it's still something that kind of aggravates me when I see pictures of myself and I feel like, gosh, my face just is like puffed up. You know, it just still doesn't look the same as what I would like. And it also, in my opinion, makes me look fatter than I really am. So I've always been kind of a bit envious of people with slimmer faces because even if their bodies are a little chunkier, just the face makes them look thinner. Whereas conversely, I feel like, you know, sometimes depending on the camera angle, sometimes I feel like my face looks like some sort of inflated beach ball with skinny eyes, which is what I looked like when I was in a Peacock TV special who murdered Robert once, and that was really embarrassing to see myself on camera and think like, oh my god, they shot me from down below. It was so unflattering. And um, so anyway, I'm looking forward to having the buckle fat procedure done in three days. I already got my medicine, which is uh, a bunch of antibiotics, oxycodone, ibuprofen, and some sort of anti-nausea medication. And the whole procedure, it's not supposed to take more than an hour and a half. It's supposed to take about an hour and a half, but that also includes all the anesthesia. So I think the actual removal of the fat pads only takes about half an hour, but I'm going to be totally under I don't want to feel anything and hopefully it will go smoothly. So you can see different angles of my face. This is unflattering below picture. This is from up above and the side. Wish me luck. Hi, it's the evening after my surgery. And I'm feeling really tired and sleepy and beat, but I survived. Yay. So as you can see, there's really not that much swelling yet, but the doctor said the worst swelling is expected to be on day three. And it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, afterwards, I felt really exhausted and so drowsy. I barely or I don't remember a lot of things like getting home. Um, I have no memory of waking up. Anyway, I'm so glad I survived it and I'm not in a ton of pain right now. So the only pain meds that I've taken so far is about 700 milligrams of the prescription ibuprofen. And I really didn't want to have to take the Oxycontin because I've had it before when I had other surgeries and it just really made me so drowsy and woozy and made me have weird mood swings, total constipation. It was horrible. So by the way, if you don't want to hear any gross stuff, then please just don't watch this video because I'm going to be a little graphic here. I mean, yesterday I was kind of annoyed because the practice um, sent me an email out of the blue and said, hey, your, your check-in time is 9.45 or whatever, which was 45 minutes before the time that we had previously scheduled. And I got a phone message from another person who said, hey, we'll see you at eight o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, what? I have already set aside my whole schedule, you know, arranged the rights and everything. So there's no way I could have shown up at eight o'clock um, or possibly for 9.45 um, for the surgery. So made some phone calls, they juggled things around and then switched me to 
show up at noon, which I was happy with. So, so that was a relief, but it was a little bit of added stress yesterday. Um, yesterday night, I also had a nice phone call with the nurse in charge of anesthesia. So she was really friendly and gave me lots of um, pointers and it was good to talk with her. So um, this morning, everything went smoothly. I was borderline slightly freaking out for a few seconds there on the operating table though, because I thought I was going to get knocked out pretty soon. But instead, they started um, putting this like oxygen mask that sort of felt like a suction mask on my nose and mouth and um, kind of like binding me to the operating table and stuff. So it did take a little bit of time before I was totally knocked out, which I was very grateful for. Okay, so after I got home, I still felt really, really woozy and gross and, um, you know, some memory issues right away and um so I mostly just laid down on the sofa slightly elevated on the edge of the sofa with a pillow and drank some iced water um, started taking my antibiotics clindamycin I'm supposed to take that three times a day until the whole bottle is is gone um, I took some of that ibuprofen then and I was kind of hungry already because you're not supposed to eat past midnight before the day of your procedure. So I just had applesauce. And so basically I'm eating stuff that's sort of like baby food. <laughs> and uh, luckily I was able to grind up a blender of chunky potato broccoli soup. And it, it actually tastes great. It tastes like the same, except it's all like the consistency of what a baby or somebody with dentures might eat. And I haven't had any more pain medication yet, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of ibuprofen before bedtime so I can have a better night's sleep. I'm supposed to sleep elevated. I also should be icing my face some more. I did do it a little bit, but um, I was also taking care of some work stuff once I started feeling a little less muddle-headed. So this is the night right after having the buckle fat removal, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. Oh, so one gross detail is that I've I think the worst side effect is that my throat is all just kind of sore and irritated. So yeah, they, they had told me about that in advance because they did put a breathing tube. That's even worse than any sort of pain or discomfort from my cheeks. And it just feels like I have a really sore throat or I've been screaming and yelling nonstop for hours. Um, doesn't feel good to swallow. And I felt this kind of like phlegm or something constantly in my throat so finally I was able to hack it up and it was all bloody but the doctor had told me that there's a chance for some of the blood from the procedure to actually go down into your throat or something to that effect um, but everything's okay so I will check in later thanks for your interest in this video I know I have no makeup on and uh, need to take a shower feel pretty grody and tired but wanted to check in the, the morning after my surgery and last night was pretty bad not because of the pain but because my sinuses have been totally inflamed and just have a totally stuffy nose post nasal drip um just it made it really hard to sleep last night especially since i also had to try to sleep on my back the whole time on two or three pillows so I ended up just taking some more ibuprofen. I didn't know if the swelling was probably connected to all the stuff going on in this whole nasal cavity. So you can still hear that still all congested, which again, overshadows any sort of slight discomfort I have in my cheeks. It doesn't really hurt, not that much. Um, haven't taken any pain medication today. And I just took one more antibiotic, the clindamycin, which I'm supposed to take three times a day and had a little bit of yogurt for breakfast. So I'm going to try to lie down with an ice pack for a little while and 
take a power nap before I try to get some work done today. So um, I'm still glad I did it. I hope this nasal congestion stuff does go away, though. That would be awful if it if it continued. So until next time, I'll tell you guys how it is tomorrow. This is my lunch, ground up chunky savory pot roast. I watered it down a bit because yesterday when I had a different chunky soup, it seemed to make me feel really um, bloated, probably too much sodium. So this actually, it tastes just fine. It's like eating baby food. But I just spoke with the nurse at the doctor's office and she said it was normal to have all this nasal congestion after the surgery. So yeah, just gonna take a nap and try to get some more work done today from home. It's 45 hours since the surgery. And as you can see, my face is definitely puffier than before. So I knew today would probably be the worst day in terms of swelling. So definitely it feels weird to talk and I'm going to try not to talk much today. And um, in terms of pain, I mean, there's just a little bit of discomfort. I might take 200 milligrams of ibuprofen, but mainly I just want to rest and keep drinking this ice cold water, maybe put on ice packs and more. Probably shouldn't have talked so much for work yesterday. I think it's definitely a good idea to take about three days or more from work. So today I'm going to eat some ground up vegetable lentil soup. And I'm going to have some watery oatmeal that I just made once it cools down. Because you definitely don't want to have a bunch of hot foods feels kind of weird not being able to drink my hot coffee and hot tea throughout the day too, but um, it's going to be worth that sacrifice. <laughs>